it says, oh, this is beautiful. And the saints that are upon the earth who are alive shall be quickened and be caught up to meet him. And they who have slept in their graves shall come forth, and their graves shall be opened. And they also shall be caught up to meet him in the midst mm -hmm. of the pillar of heaven. And they are Christ's, the first fruits. Oh. They who shall descend with him first. And they who are on oh. the earth and in their graves who are first no, caught no, up no, to no, meet no, him. No, okay. Uh, right here this is uh, doctrine and covenants uh, if you haven't figured it out by now this is Mormonism <laughs> all right so let's go first of all let's do it this way let's go to uh oh Oh, I know what I did wrong here. Let's do it this way. There we go. 1 Corinthians 15, But now is Christ risen from the dead, and become the firstfruits of them that slept. What's Mormonism teach? That when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, and there is the great resurrection there those people are the first fruits so is Christ the first fruits of them that slept or are we at the end of the world the first fruits I mean either the Bible's lying and Mormonism is true or the Bible is right and Mormonism is lying. All right, so you got a choice there. Both, both could be wrong theoretically, but both can't be right. All right, so go to Revelation 20, where it says this is the first resurrection. All right, now notice here it says the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. The first resurrection is before I'm sorry yeah before the thousand years are finished the first resurrection is before the thousand years are finished so who is who are who is partaking in the first resurrection it is those of us that are born of the Spirit of God Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power. Remember what Jesus says, Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Let's see if we can find A verse to support what I just said there. John 11, verse 26. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? So, the second death has no power over us that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Those of us that are born of the Spirit of God. We shall never die. Right now we are priests of God and of Christ. And right now we reign with Him right now. Alright, so Mormonism teaches this idea that Jesus is not the first fruits of them that slept. And then I've shown you day after day, video after video, of all these people that are teaching the same thing that the Mormons are teaching all right and, and this is interesting to me that all this teaching parallels what the movie the left behind movie the Hollywood movie as I call it what the Hollywood movie presents they preach that as though it was from the Bible and it's not a whole nother religion. Alright, that's it for today.
well, I, I should say, um, I'm going to do a verse by verse on Revelation 20 in case anybody's interested.